In this video, I will quickly show you the difference between change of character and a breaker block. This is because this particular guy asks this question. I dropped a video about understanding ICT PD array for beginners. I explained almost every single institutional reference point in that video. And then this guy came up with a question, which I think I will address right now. He says the difference between a breaker block and a change of character because they look really confusing. And that is true. So let me show you what exactly is a change of character and a breaker block. Now, a change of character is simply a shift in market direction. We have basically three elements of market direction. That is an uptrend, a downtrend, and a consolidating market. What a change of character is, is simply when there is a change between an uptrend to a downtrend, or there is a change between a downtrend to an uptrend. A typical example of that is here. Look at this. If you look at what is happening on this chart from here, starting from this level, you can see that price pushed down to this level, came back, came like this, push up this level. Look at this. This is what is known as change of character. To some people that are still in the family of the smart money traders, they call it shift in market structure because this from here to here is a downtrend. We can see this identifying from here. We have this lower high. We have this lower high, lower low, lower low. And then this is a lower high. This is a lower low. If I adjust this properly, you're going to see this is a lower low. So since from this lower high, we're expecting price to create a lower low, which means that this downtrend is willing to go. But there is a sudden change. As soon as we see this last lower high being taken out by the body of this candle, we want to see the body of the candle closing outside this line we mark. So this is change of character. From here, we are no longer in a downtrend. This is not a downtrend. It is now an uptrend. So this is what a change of character simply is. And if you look at this from here, we can see that this is now a break of structure. We can call this a break of structure. This is a break of structure also. This is also a break of structure. And then this is also a break of structure, even though it reached out for liquidity. Now, look at this. What we call a breaker block is simply a felt order block if you look at this, assuming this did not happen, if I take this replay and put it right here, when we have something like this, something like this, assuming the price did not play out, we have this. This is an order block now. This last red candle that price traded to, this is an order block. So we are expecting price to come, maybe retrace and react from this order block and push up. But if this order block did not hold price and push price upward, and then we see a sudden change in the direction from here, we see something like this price coming through, and it took out this last higher low. Remember, we want to see the last higher low in this regard. It took out this last higher low. So, this is a change of character, but we have a breaker block at this point. So this is a change of character. We cannot call it a breaker block until we see that price comes back and then react from here and push down. So a breaker block is simply something like this. Let me show you. When you see something like this, I've explained this time and time again, price up, come down, and then it grab liquidity above this, this is liquidity being grabbed and then we see a sudden crash down taking liquidity on this side again taking liquidity on both side on the upside and this side so this one this particular order block that was supposed to hold price is now our breaker block we want to see it push price downward now, if you watch the video on PDRA, you will know how to use this properly. Make sure you go to my YouTube channel and watch it. So we can take a trade from here. That is this breaker block. We want to take trade from there 
and our stop loss is basically mostly above this so um for people that are using classical or normal chart patterns this is what we call head and shoulder pattern but the smart money concept gives it a better you know definition so from here we expect price to just push and then have it like this but not every change of character is a breaker block just like we see here if we play it out you're going to see that it actually came back you can see price just came back and touched this level and move up to this level so this is a breaker block actually even though it just moved to this first level peak liquidity and push up again it was heading for that other block above now it is not only that one that can create a change of character like this one it is not a breaker block because we never created a liquidity grab but we had a change of character I hope this is understandable let me see another change of character is this a change of character we see this sudden up i want to see something very clear before i call it a change of character okay look at this this is a change of character okay because market is up going up and suddenly we saw price taking the last low the last higher low it was taken and then price pushed down to this level so even though this is acting like a breaker too it's acting because you can see in the future that price came back to that same level and then had some reaction so every time price is coming back you're going to see some reaction in the future price actually came back i wanted to see one that is not having a breaker so you can have an overview of that is not every change of character that you will see a breaker it is not in every change of character that you will see a breaker let me show you that okay look at another classical example this as you see price coming up from here taking up came here this low that was created this is the last higher low that was created and then price traded through it okay price traded through it this is not a breaker because the highest level is still here it did not push up above it so we can even call this a mitigation block this is a mitigation block it's not every change of character that you see those ones a mitigation block price came and reacted at that level watch that video on pd array you will get the definition of these two this video carries every single item you need to know understanding ict pd array so i hope you are understanding what i explained right there i'm taking time to show you it's not every single change of character direction that you will see a breaker block no sometimes it's not a breaker block it will just happen it's just a change in market direction it's just a change in market direction maybe short term or old time i think it is okay like this if you have any question you let me know i will be there to answer the questions um properly without any hesitation thank you guys for watching see you next time